Let's now talk about emails. In fact, there's an entire world of social engineering wrapped around the world of emails. So it's important we know how to protect ourselves with this particular um, case, with this particular instance. The first thing I want to talk about is spam. Now, spam got its name from a Monty Python skit. Now, I'll put the link or a link to the video in the extra resources. Be sure to check that out. I always show it to my students so they know a little bit of the history about some of this computer stuff, but it comes from a Monty Python skit about spam. It's defined as unwanted email, and you have to watch out for the unsubscribe button. So you will get all this email that you didn't ask for, um, that you don't want about, let's say, refinancing or how to protect yourself against the IRS. For those of you in other countries, IRS is our tax man in this country. You might get information about you know, hair growth or male enhancement or, I mean, just all sorts of different things. This is spam. And some spam have unsubscribe buttons. Now, legitimate mass mailing companies, for example, Constant Contact, has unsubscribe buttons, which do just that. But there's a lot of unscrupulous companies that send out spam where the unsubscribe button is actually a confirmation button, where it confirms that that's a real email address or it links to viruses. So you have to be really careful with that unsubscribe button. You also need to be careful of who you give your email out to. You should not put your email online. You shouldn't make a web page with your email out there. There are uh, spiders out there that crawl the internet looking, spam bots looking for those email addresses. And so you don't want to wind up in somebody's database. I also recommend having a throwaway email account. So Google gives you free email accounts. There's other places out there you can get free email accounts. Create an email account, especially for those signups. So you might need to access a website or something like that where you have to provide them an email. You might go to a store where they ask for your email. Create a throwaway email account just for spam. The other concept I want to talk about is called bacon. And I didn't misspell it. That's how we say it. And bacon really isn't spam. It's emails or newsletters that we signed up for, but we really don't read. I get a lot of those too where I just don't want to unsubscribe because one day, one day, one day I will get around to reading that newsletter. The next concept is called phishing. And again, these are not misspelled. This is how you spell these words. Phishing is the attempt to acquire sensitive information such as username, passwords, and credit card details. Basically, you're trying to get personal identifiable information. You're trying to get financial information. You're trying to get usernames, authentication information from previous videos to use them. And we can cast out these massive nets to try to bring in this information. And so you'll have thousands and thousands of phishing attempts out there. And it's, it's relatively cheap to do. And all you need is one or two people to bite at it. And now you've made money. Which brings me to my other topic, which is nobody, no one online wants to give you free money. There's no prince in Nigeria. There's no expat that wants to just randomly give you money. They don't exist. And I'm saying this kind of tongue in cheek, but believe me, these scams have been going around since the beginning of email and people still fall for it. So nobody is offering you a free lunch. Nobody is offering you any deal that's too good to be true online. So you don't engage with them. You don't respond to them. You just simply delete the email and move on. Spear phishing is where you're going after specific targets. You're going after specific groups. So for example, let's say that you want to get into some company's servers. You want to access somebody, some server's um, information. You might send out this phishing attempts at people in that group that might have access to that information. So you might attack administrators. You might attack management, trying to get them to provide the usernames and passwords that they could use to access top-level information. Then, finally, we have whale phishing. Again, I'm not making these things up, folks. Whale phishing is where you go after large targets. So, for example, CEOs, politicians, celebrities, etc., etc. Last semester, we had a situation where we had, I think it was Jennifer Lawrence, whose naked pictures were released, and you had several other actresses, actually a couple, I think it was like a couple hundred actresses, who had their images and their videos released, 
that was an example of going after high level targets in every presidential election for example when um, McCain ran against Obama for the very first election both McCain's email accounts as well as Obama email accounts were hacked they were going after big targets the same thing happened when Romney Obama were running against each other they were big targets and so presidential candidates are targets for phishing attempts and it's not usually political it's just big targets and they make uh, very tempting targets to these bad guys so here are some general tips to keep yourself safe so wake up wake up wake up wake up here are some general tips to keep yourself safe one never post your email on a web page spammers will find it and they'll put it in their database two consider switching your email to text only what i mean by this is you can read email either html web page style or you can read it text style which is kind of ugly and plain text style gets rid of hidden links it gets rid of hidden code in the background html you can actually embed tracking into pictures and all that stuff and so a text-based email and it's a simple button somewhere in your email program you only read the emails as text and so you don't get any hidden payloads next never ever 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 respond to spam don't email them back don't just delete it and move on watch out for those unsubscribe buttons like i said earlier and of course as i said earlier again have a throwaway email account all right our next video we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about social media